I've got to admit, I've got a problem when it comes to food. I like to eat. Some people don't like to eat. I love to eat, and I love to eat all the wrong things. Top on the list is donuts. I have a problem with donuts. I love donuts, candy, gum, chocolate, and pizza. I love pizza. I like it all, and I like it too much. Sure, I play hockey and I lift weights three times a week, but it doesn't seem to help take off the weight. I tried to cure it, so I went to a hypnotist. Basically, you have to go sign up. So I went to his office and I signed up. The receptionist was pretty imposing. I was waiting around the lobby with all these overweight people, and they were a lot more overweight than I was, so I was feeling pretty good about myself. We all filed into this room and we sat down. What the hypnotist does is he gives lectures. He claims to have the power to erase bad habits by suggestion. One person said, I have a hurt shoulder. So he flicks his finger at him and he asks, okay, do you feel better now? Most of the time they said no. It was kind of embarrassing. Then he started lecturing. It was kind of a puzzling speech. It seemed like a disjointed series of stories and opinions. After his lecture, I didn't even know what he was talking about. He led us back into the waiting room, and then we waited to have our two minutes with him individually. So I was waiting there a while, kind of stressing out, and I went back there and it was pretty uncomfortable. So he asked me, what is the problem? I personally think eating problems are basically self-esteem problems, so I said, well, I've, <clears throat> I've got a lack of self-esteem. And he looked at me and he said, what, are you crazy? I felt kind of stupid. Then he told me to close my eyes and envision in as much detail as possible the habit that I wanted to be free of. And then he told me to picture the perfect moment of eating. So I closed my eyes and I kind of kept one open. And I saw him kind of flick his wrist at me and he goes... <sighs> then he blew on my face. Shortly after that, I was dismissed. I didn't really want to linger or anything, so we all went our separate ways into the night. I got in my car and I tried to evaluate the experience as I was driving. Next thing I knew I was at a fast food restaurant eating fried chicken. So I guess it didn't last long. I think the power of junk food overrules the power of suggestion.